there's a whole area of work uh, in AI safety that does consider super intelligent AI and ponders the existential risks of it. In some sense, when we're looking down into the muck, into the mud, and not up at the stars, it's easy to forget that these systems might just might get there. Do you think about this kind of possibility that AGI systems, super intelligent AI systems might threaten humanity in some way that's even bigger than just uh, affecting the economy, affecting the human condition, affecting the nature of work, but literally threaten human civilization. The example that I think is in everyone's consciousness is um, how mm -hmm. in audio space 2001, um, where HAL exhibits a malfunction. And what is a malfunction? That like the two different systems compute a slightly different bit that's off by one. So first of all, let's untangle that. Um, if you have an intelligent system, you can't expect it to be 100% identical every time you run it. Basically, the sacrifice that you need to make to achieve intelligence and creativity is consistency. Mm -hmm. So it's unclear whether that quote unquote glitch is a sign of creativity or truly a problem. That's one aspect. The second aspect is the humans basically are on a mission to recover this monolith. And the AI has the same exact mission. Mm -hmm. And suddenly the humans turn on the AI and they're like, we're gonna kill Hal, we're gonna disconnect it. And Hal is basically saying, listen, I'm, I'm here on a mission. The humans are misbehaving. Like the mission is more important than either me or them. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna accomplish the mission, even at my peril and even at their peril. So in that movie, the alignment problem is front and center basically says, okay, alignment is nice and good, but alignment doesn't mean obedience. We don't call it obedience, we call it alignment. And alignment basically means that sometimes the mission will be more important than the humans. And sort of, you know, the US government has a price tag on the human life. If they're, you know, sending a mission or if they're reimbursing expenses or you name it, at some point, every, every like, you know, you can't function if life is infinitely valuable. So, when the AI is basically trying to decide whether to, you know, I don't know, dismantle a bomb that will kill an entire city at the sacrifice of two humans. I mean, Spider-Man always saves the lady and saves the world. Mm -hmm. But at some point, Spider-Man will have to choose to let the lady die because the world has more value. And these ethical dilemmas are gonna be there for AI. Basically, if that monolith is essential to human existence and millions of humans are depending on it and two humans on the ship are trying to sabotage it, you know, where's the alignment? The, the challenge is, of course, is the system becomes more and more intelligent. It can escape the box of the objective functions and the constraints it's supposed to operate under. It's very difficult as the more intelligent it becomes to anticipate the unintended consequences of a fixed objective function. And so it, there'll be just, I mean, this is the, the sort of famous paperclip maximizer. In uh, trying to maximize yeah. the, the wealth of a nation or whatever objective we encode in, it might just destroy human civilization, not meaning to, but on the path to optimize, it, it seems like any function you try to optimize eventually leads you into a lot of trouble. So we have a paper recently that uh, you know looks at Goodhart's law. Mm -hmm. Basically, says every metric that becomes an objective ceases to be a good metric. Yes. <laughs> so yes. in in our paper, we're basically actually the paper has a very cute title. It's called uh, "Death by Round Numbers and Sharp Thresholds," <laughs> nice. and it's basically looking at these discontinuities in biomarkers associated with disease. And we're finding that a biomarker that becomes an objective ceases to be a good biomarker. That basically, like the moment you make a biomarker a treatment decision, that biomarker used to be informative of risk, but it's now inversely correlated with risk because you use it to, in, to sort of induce treatment. Um, in a similar way, you can have a single metric 
without having the ability to revise it. Because if that metric becomes a sole objective, it will cease to be a good metric. And if an AI is sufficiently intelligent to do all these kinds of things, you should also empower it with the ability to decide that the objective has now shifted. Mm -hmm. And um, again, when we think about alignment, we should be really thinking about it as let's think of the greater good, not just the human good. And yes, of course, human life should be much more valuable than many, 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 many things. But at some point, you're not going to sacrifice a whole planet to save one human being. 